Hi everyone, happy Earth Day and welcome to the Austin Nature and Science Center. My name is Kelsey and I'm going to be leading you on a little bit of a virtual tour today. Just like many other places in Austin, we are closed for the moment, but we sure are missing you a lot and we're hoping that you're missing us a bit too and that this virtual tour puts a smile on your face today. So follow me this way and let's check out some cool things. The exhibits in our visitor pavilion have a lot of very cool things. My favorite exhibit is the trade counter, where people can come, bring their nature items, and learn from a naturalist about what it is that they found, and even trade it in for other kinds of items or points. So let me show you some of my favorite things in the trade counter. Follow me this way. The trade counter is filled with all kinds of rocks and minerals. This rock over here is one of my favorites. It's called obsidian. It's an igneous rock that's created when magma escapes from the earth and cools very quickly to create a crystalline structure that's very shiny and smooth and a little bit brittle. People throughout time have used obsidian to create lots of different kinds of tools and weapons because of the way that they can sharpen it into a point. Let's go check out some other things. In this artifact, we can see not only a preserved bat body, but also its entire skeleton which shows us how its wings are made out of hand-like appendages, which is why they're part of a group called Chiroptera, meaning hand wing. Let's see what else there is. This is called graffia, or a devil's toenail. This is a fossil from an extinct oyster. If I brought this graffia into trade, I could get at least 270 points, like this one. I might use those points to get some other cool things that are behind me, or maybe some of the jewelry that my friend Mary makes out of natural items like snake vertebrae and beetle wings. fun nature items at home right now? Well, while we wait for the trade counter to reopen, there are tons of things that you can do right from home. Be your own naturalist, do some research, maybe even make a scientific observational sketch. You can also make some nature art, maybe even build a mini museum with your artifacts. I hope that you had fun exploring the trade counter with me today, and I hope that the rest of your Earth Day is wonderful. See you next time, friends.